All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue comparing shapes. This time we're gonna focus on kites and squares and talking about the properties. And the big idea is, of course, a square is, a lot of our students know what a square is. It's a rhombus, uh, because a rhombus means it's got four congruent sides. And it's a rectangle, because it's got four um, right angles. So um, it, a way to say it is it's a rhombus with four right angles, or you can say it's a rectangle that has four equal sides. So there's a couple of ways to think of a square, but we all kind of understand what a square is. A new figure is a kite, and a kite is a quadrilateral, but instead of the opposite sides being equal, it's the consecutive sides that are equal. And uh, so let's get started on this. Here we have a, a kite, and I'm going to just kind of move the points around. Everything I can create with this app is a kite. Okay, so I want you to just kind of look at what a kite seems to look like. And this, those little dashes are going to tell you something. These dashes tell you that this side and this side are the same length. Always, 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 no matter how I make this kite, those two sides are always going to be equal to each other. And these double dashes are saying that this side and this side are always going to be uh, the same length. No matter how I build this kite, it's always going to look that way, right? So now I'm going to get this going up. Oh, let's make it like that. There we go. All right. So there's another kite. Now we can also learn about the angles. So if we look at the angles here, you'll notice these two angles are equal, but these two angles are not. Now, is that always the case? Well, let's move it around. Let's move our kite around. If I move it, oh, these guys are still equal, but these two are not. Let's move it around. I can move, 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 and I can just kind of, no matter how it looks like I create my kite, it looks like these two angles are always equal and these two. So we always have one pair of opposite angles that are equal and one pair of opposite angles that are not equal. So there's the pair that are equal. These pair don't necessarily have to be. So to be inclusive, we're going to say that a kite has at least one pair of opposite angles that are equal. Now we could also talk about the diagonals. Now when I look at the diagonals, now look what's going on here. Look what's going on. So the thing we want students to notice is the diagonals, no matter how we put it together, those diagonals always cross at a perfect 90 degree angle. We also want students to see that one diagonal is perfectly cut in half nine and nine in this case. But this diagonal is not cut in half perfectly. This, this part's 15 and this part's 26. So it turns out no matter how we do it, this angle, I mean this diagonal is still cut perfectly, six and six, cut in half. But this long, this one is not. Now I wonder, I'm wondering if I what happens if I make it really kind of weird and funky and small? What's going to, go? What's going to happen? Now, yeah, still. So this diagonal is 11 and 11, so 22, whereas this diagonal is 9. It's kind of hard to see 9 and 7. So that's giving you an idea of all the properties of the um, kite. So a, a nice place that you can do is you can go here and play with some GeoGebra software, dynamic software to let you just play like I was playing with a kite. So the directions say draw a kite that is not a parallelogram. And we're not going to be able to follow the lines in order to do that. So uh, a, a kite that is not a parallelogram. So I'm going to make these two sides equal. 
So as you can see there, I'm trying to make it like two units and two units. And then, oh, let's just make them both go down to uh, here. So this is going to go down to here. And then this is going to go right here. So there's our kite. And we know it's a kite because this side is equal to this side. So there's our consecutive sides that are equal. And then this side is equal to this side. So there are our consecutive sides that are equal. Now, list all the properties. Man, there's lots of properties. We could talk about the diagonals being 90 degree angles. We could talk about one of the diagonals being cut in half while the other uh, diagonal is not cut in half. There's a lot of properties that your students could come up with. So parents and teachers, they don't have to list all of them because there's just so many. But give your students a, a chance to come up with a, a nice comprehensive list. Now, when can a parallelogram also be a kite? Well, remember, parallelogram has um, opposite sides are parallel. And then the kite means the adjacent or consecutive sides have to be the same length. Uh, so one way is it's going to look like a rhombus because you can say, all right, here we go. So these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. But the way I drew it, I tried to draw it perfectly so that this side is parallel to this side. And this side is parallel to this side. So a rhombus is going to be perfectly good because that makes really, you know, I'll do it in green, that makes all four sides equal. That's one one way that a parallelogram can also be a kite. So if rectangles must have right angles, explain how a rhombus can also be a rectangle. Well, what is a rhombus? A rhombus has four equal sides. So what's a rectangle? It's got to have four 90 degree angles. So what we need to do is draw a figure that is a rhombus and a rectangle, meaning it has four equal sides and it has four 90 degree angles. So what is that going to look like? It's going to look like a square because, oh my gosh, that's a horrible looking square. But you can see all four sides are equal and we've got four right angles and that's a square. So this is actually kind of like the last problem because it says draw a rhombus that's also a rectangle. Uh, so a rhombus has four equal sides, four equal sides, and then a rectangle has four 90 degree angles. So that's going to be a square. So I'm just gonna do my best here to draw a nice looking square with four sides that are equal and four 90 degree angles. And the, last, and the last problem is kind of funky. So Kirkland says that this figure is a quadrilateral because it has four points. It even has four sides. One, two, three, four. It has four points, four segments, one, two, three, four, with no three points being collinear. And basically what they're saying is it's possible for you to have four points, but it could look like this. And that would be not a quadrilateral because these three right here are collinear. And so that's not a quadrilateral. So the idea is he's saying uh, is this must be a quadrilateral, but it's not. And of course you can see why it's been pinched right here or twisted. Um, I forget the fancy name for this. I don't know. Let's call it a complex figure. I don't know if that's the right word. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but no, this is definitely not a quadrilateral because really the sides are not allowed to cross and intersect. And that wraps up fifth grade module five, lesson 19, talking about kites and squares.